All right, so here's your design. And um, I'll delete the ground operation because you should be grounding this earlier. And I delete the joint because it's too late to do it. And I'm also going to delete that position capture because you should always locate component in reference to each other using a join, not a position capture. All right, so how do we fix this? Um, so first of all, uh, referring to grounding, you can ground this component right after creation because grounding works basically on the origins. So what I often do instead of grounding, I use a uh, as-built rigid joint and that does the same thing. It works on, um, on um, origins and make sure you pay attention to how many components you have selected. So I've selected two here, that is this one, and that is the top level origin. So now this thing is locked into place. I'm going to just hide that joint. And uh, that is the origin of my first component. That component is basically locked in place. And, uh, and of course, could of course, I'm, you can of course still move the geometry within the component, right? But that's not a recommended workflow for simple mechanical designs. Let me put it this way. So now you create your second component and you want to, well, you used a move and a follow, following position capture, but that's not the best way to do that. Um, a better way to do that, uh, I wouldn't necessarily say the best way, I use that workflow very often, um, is basically join this origin of this new component before anything is created in that component and just join it to your second component, right? And uh, what you can see is that the z-axis of your second component originally pointed upwards and is now 90 degrees rotated. All right, so obviously that means your component is 90 degrees rotated. So we didn't want that and that means that joint won't work and I'll delete it. But what I am going to do in your second component is I'm going to create an explicit join origin. And initially, uh, that's kind of hard to see here in the viewport, but initially it's also oriented perpendicular or the disk um, symbol is oriented perpendicular to the z-axis. But what we can do, we can actually reorient it here. And I want the new z-axis to be along the y-axis. And now we can see here that the joint origin disk, if you will, is oriented perpendicular to the y-axis. So what I can do now, I can actually hide that uh, origin here. So when I pick something, I really pick that joint disk. So now I pick that one, I can unhide it on my first component, and then I can join that to my first component. So now that origin has moved, the z-axis is in our desired orientation and there's the component. So that's how you also, that's an alternative workflow of designing in place where the joint origin of your new part does not coincide with the joint origin of well, the overall joint origin over here. So hopefully that helps.